Hello and welcome back to Hindustan Astrology. I'm Katya and in today's video I want to take a look at the next great American solar eclipses which will happen on the first one is October 16th of 2023 and the second one is April 8th of 2024. So the reason I want to take a look at these solar eclipses is because not only are solar eclipses um, telling us what the fate and destiny is at that time, but we had a solar eclipse across the United States on August 21st of 2017. And we see the huge changes that have happened here. Now eclipse points are um, something that affect everybody all over the globe. But when the eclipse shadow is actually going over your country, it impacts you even more. And we can just see um, from the last one, the great changes that have happened in the United States. Now, um, I do want to say that um, something that has come to me, and I'm totally ad-libbing this, I didn't write anything, but this is something I've been working on a while because I've seen um, so many news articles and uh, even, you know, in 2001, I believe it was in um, July and August, they had the uh, congressional hearings on um, UFO and ET disclosure, and they had several military officials, US military officials come forward and testify to retired senators about their experience. And because of the unfortunate 9-11 um, event that happened the next month in September, um, all of that kind of got brushed under the rug. But here's the thing, you guys, here's what I want you to pay attention to. Um, these are real military officials that are coming, have come forward and have continued to come forward. One of them being the former Canadian Minister of Defense, Paul Hellyer. He's written a few books on ET disclosure and I just want you to realize that um, there's so much evidence. And especially with in, in the United States chart, we have, um, you know, our moon is in Shatabishak in Aquarius, and that indicates anything that has to do with the stars, um, has to do with mysteries and the occult and things from off planet. So while Saturn, we are in a Sati Sati in the United States, which means that Saturn is in the sign before our moon sign, which is Capricorn, it will be in our moon sign, um, I believe it's starting, yeah, next year, Saturn goes into Aquarius. And then around this time, when these great American eclipses are happening in 2023 and 2024, guess what? Our Sati Sati is going to be almost exact. Now, we know that NASA is preparing um, a moon mission. Uh, they are preparing... Um, all of that for 2024. And that is to be a landing station for um, the astronauts that then go to Mars. And that's going to be in 2030. So you better believe that the Space Force and ET, ET disclosure and all of that is going to be a huge part of the next lunar eclipses. So let's take a look at the charts for those eclipses. Okay, so I've just share. I'm sharing just a very, very short presentation. Um, I'm still doing research on historical events that happened when the eclipse points were um, are in the where they're going to be for the next eclipses, um, and I'll come up, out with that later. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that um, everything that we're going through is leading up to this, pretty much. Okay, so here we have. Um, what's what's going to be happening so the first one is october 14th 14th not 16th i said 16th october 14th of 2023 starts down here in texas it's going to go over the west coast and then we have april 8th of 2024 and we have a total solar eclipse that starts for the united states here in texas again 
and it's going over the East Coast. <clears throat> and this one is going right over my house. <laughs> so uh, I will say that I think that, um, you know, what I've learned from people from India is that uh, when there's an eclipse, don't go outside and watch it <laughs> because you will be affected. It will um, not only, as we know, damage your retina, but uh, that, you know, just looking at the energy of it can be malefic. So it's better to stay inside and do your mantras than don't even watch it on TV. And I think maybe that's part of why uh, we had so many problems. We've had so many problems in the United States since 2017. It's because everybody went outside and watched the eclipse. <laughs> so now here's the first one. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. This was the one from 2017. So we can see that Rahu was in Maga, Leo, and K2 was in Danishta. And this was, I mean, ever since, you know, Trump was president, um, they've been after him to try and impeach him. Um, but, you know, we can see with uh, Rahu being in Maga, he was particularly strong at that time. He has uh, his ascendant and Mars in Maga. And so this just amplified his power at that time, okay? Um, now, I did this for Washington, D.C., right? So this just happens to be in the 10th House of Government. Look at that, Mercury retrograde. Um, you know, Mercury retrograde, yes, it messes up communication, but it also bring, brings things forward that you need to pay attention to. So uh, we needed to be <laughs> paying attention to what was going to be happening with our government um, from this eclipse. And then uh, K2 with Neptune retrograde in the fourth house. That should have been a major clue. Uh, in mundane astrology, the fourth house is the house of the homeland. So that should have been a major clue to us that um, the homeland was going to have some problems, um, especially with delusional behavior, um, lies, deception being exposed. Neptune, when it's direct, represents lies, but when he goes retrograde, it represents lies being exposed. And K2, it's karmic. So that eclipse really kicked off everything. Saturn retrograde on the Ascendant, um, that can be a really malefic force. Yeah, that can bring death, it can bring um, disease. You know, that was also a, a, an indication that we had this pandemic coming. And then Pluto retrograde in the second. Second house is a mark, a house, a killer house. Pluto represents death. If we had been paying attention, we would have seen this pandemic coming just from this chart, I think. Um, sixth house of health has Uranus retrograde. You know, Uranus uh, is still in Aries, okay? Um, one thing, though, uh, the day of the uh, Capitol riots, January 6th, 2021, uh, we had Mars and Uranus retrograde exactly conjunct. So again, all, we we should have seen all of this coming, but you know, hindsight's 2020, right? And I don't think we're supposed to see everything in, in advance. I don't think that creator wants us to be uh, that on top of it. He wants us to go through the process, so. Uh, Venus, Mars conjunction in the ninth. Well, we have, you know, new ideologies, that's for sure. And especially, you know, ideologies about money, cryptocurrency. Venus, Venus rules luxuries. Um, uh, Jupiter and Chitra in the 11th. Um, 11th house is communities. Um, Jupiter there, um, you know, it's, I think it's really showing the importance of um, religion and the influence on politics, because fifth house is actually politics. But, um, you know, Jupiter in Virgo, again, um, in Chitra, Chit Chitra is ruled by Mars. And so this should have been another um, indication that the disease was coming. Planets in Virgo, um, yeah, especially if you have planets in Pisces opposite, that's going to highlight health. Um, so Jupiter in Virgo is highlighting health. So that was 2017, okay? Let's go forward. We have the next one, which is October 14th, 2023. We're going to have Rahu in 
Aries conjunct Jupiter retrograde and Uranus retrograde, and K2 in Libra conjunct Mars. Well, you know what I see out of this? Rockets. I see new technology. Um, you know, so many people have, you know, put violence and warfare and stuff on this whole Uranus-Mars conjunction that happened um, January 6th. But I think also what's going on is, you know, Elon Musk just put one and a half billion dollars into cryptocurrency. Um, and he's going to allow people to use cryptocurrency to buy his cars. So, um, yeah, I think that's seen by this Rahu in Ashwini. Um, you know, this Aries is ruled by Mars. It indicates engines and cars and engineering and technology. Um, Jupiter and Uranus. Well, Uranus already indicates things that are otherworldly off planet. Jupiter is going to expand it. Retrograde is going to expand it even more, actually. It doesn't really diminish it. It kind of, you know, when retrogrades are, um, planets are retrograde in the sky, they are brighter. So I think that this is indicating um, we're about to launch to the moon at this time, especially with Mars in opposition to his own sign of Aries with K2. So. <laughs> and then Saturn retrograde is gonna be on Chateau Bishak and it's gonna be like right on top of a United States moon. So our Seti Seti is gonna be really felt at this time. Uh, also, you know, United States is in a Rahu uh, Mahadasha. And that means that the planetary cycle, what we are in right now is Rahu. And so um, the, these eclipses are even more important for the United States. Uh, we also have a Pluto return that's going to be happening. And as you can see here, Pluto uh, is at three degrees, 42 minutes. Our Pluto is about six and a half degrees. So I think it's like the um, 2026 is when we have an exact Pluto conjunction. Yeah, that's gonna be in the second house for the United States. And actually take a look at this. So the ascendant is Sagittarius uh, for this eclipse, and that's the, the United States ascendant is Sagittarius. Ours is Mula. Uh, this is Purva Ashada, but still. So all of these planets are going to be really felt by the United States. Um, so yeah, I think this is really indicating um, NASA and our mission to the moon and Mars. So let's go forward. Now look at this. April 8th of 2024. Look at that planetary pileup in Pisces. We just had one, um, well, we're in one right now, actually, but yesterday was the new moon and we have seven planets. I do the outer planets, so um, just, you know, just so you know. Uh, seven planets in Pisces, I mean, I'm sorry, in Capricorn, and they were exact, exactly squaring Uranus and Mars in um, Aries. And unfortunately, we had a horrible black ice storm in Texas, and there was uh, over a hundred, it was like 130 car pileup, something horrible like that. And you could just see it in the chart and it just breaks my heart. I really wish people would pay attention to astrology like they pay attention to the weather forecast because they could have seen this and prepared better. But you know, well, we're getting there. But for this eclipse, we have all of these planets in Pisces and um, Pisces, you know, there's a Drekana of Pisces. I forget what, which one it is. I think it's the second that indicates travelers from foreign places, many, many nations. And Pisces actually indicates travel, believe it or not. It is ruled by Jupiter, and this is why. Um, so, you know, we're going to, I think ET disclosure is definitely going to be come to a fruit, you know, to a head at this point. Um, and Rahu's gonna be in brevity. That is the most spiritual sign out of all of the nakshatras. Um, and K2 in Hasta. Hasta is one of the most spiritual nakshatras. It, it has the Mother Mary energy to it. So um, for Washington DC, Right, so at the time of the eclipse, or actually at the time of the new moon, because the eclipse, you know, is over a, a, um, a couple hours, pretty much. It has a peak time for different locations, but I like to use the new or full moon time to gather the, the reading. So, um, yeah, 
with Venus and Neptune, I mean, right away, that's really, um, it's good for love, it's good for music, it's good for romance, it's good for idealism. Neptune's there, again, indicating um, ET and disclosure. I really feel, and, and K2 in the third house of communications, uh, yeah, by this point, we're going to know what's going on. And Mars is there. Um, again, you know, Mercury retrograde, Jupiter, Uranus, all in Aries. Again, back to engineering craft. So there's going to be a lot of talk about craft, not just our craft, but the craft that's been visiting our planet for millennia. And uh, this is all going to come out at this time. Okay. Now, if you... No, this is not a Colossar for yoga. We've got Saturn and Mars here. But... Um, but yeah, all of these planets piled up. I mean, this is in Western astrology, we call it a stellium. In Vedic, it's a combustion. Uh, we have, so it has to be eight degrees to be a, a true con combustion, but under the sunbeams is within 17 degrees. So these are all, you know, within 17 degrees of each other. I think we're gonna really um, be blown away. <clears throat> by the disclosure that happens, by the um, things happening in outer space. And you know what, this, this just might be what it's going to take to get us to come together, just like Ronald Reagan said. Um, so yeah, I think that um, this chart reveals a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. There you go. There you have it. Um, hope you guys, um, you know, just got a little heads up about what's coming up. And um, I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you're interested to see how this is going to play out in your chart, um, please click the link down in the information section and you can book a reading with me. Of course, like and subscribe the video and I'll see you next time. Namaste.